Hi, I'm Alex from UFB. Um, I'm from the class Introduction to the Workplace Communications and today I'm going to be talking about teenage environmental activists in Canada and what they've been doing so far to make change. Now, a common misconception though about our generation is that we don't care, that we only care about materialistic things and we don't care about anything of great concern, like the environment, but this of course isn't true. Now. Fortunately, there are many people who are ready to put that stereotype to rest, that are ready to show the world that it doesn't matter how old you are, you can create change, you can do anything, it doesn't matter. Like Quinn Runkle, a 17-year-old British Columbian who founded EcoKids when she was just in grade 4. Quinn started EcoKids in order to ban gas-powered leaf blowers in her community, and so far has been successful. Her community no longer uses gas-powered leaf blowers. And today, she travels around the world informing and creating awareness about environmental issues in Canada and or what people can do to promote change. She's worked with world-renowned scientists and a United Nations conference for kids on how they can get their peers and people of other generations involved. And like Quinn, there's also a Montreal group in Canada that are called Sievert and they are working to create change as well. They take kids from elementary schools, middle schools, high schools and they show them how to create change and many of them are environmental leaders in their communities. They teach people who are, they teach their teachers, their parents, their grandparents, their neighbors about how they can be more energy efficient and how they can make compost and how they can properly recycle and anything they can do to help the environment. They are aware about the current issues and how we are depleting in our natural resources in the world. They have worked with the Fly T Foundation and David Suzuki to make YouTube videos to promote change and show that that there's many things you can do and it doesn't matter how old you are. And like Quinn and the Sievert Foundation and the Fly T Foundation, they are, there are many other institutions that are showing that you can do anything to promote change, like SEEDS, the Society in Environment and Energy Development Studies, um, founded in Canada and founded in 1976, are promoting change as well. They are promoting the Green School Programs which is a program designed to educate um, green educational programs in Canadian institutions. They're doing anything they can. They're putting energy efficient um, tech computers and um, overheads and light bulbs and using solar powered energy and bringing awareness and bringing even uh, green educational courses for students to take. That is these things are not the only thing that Canada has done to promote environmental change. There are many institutions, like there are many institutions that have recycling bins. There's even the malls have recycling bins where they have places for glass bottles, for plastic, for paper, and even some places have stuff for compostable things like tissue or food, anything that they can put to promote change. It doesn't matter where you are or how old or how young you are in Canada, you can still promote change and Quinn and the Sievert Foundation and Seeds are just going to show you and proving that it doesn't matter. You can still make change and Canada has done so much just like every other place to promote green environmental changes. Thanks. I'm Alex Ho, and thanks for listening. Bye.